Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I've been reading this book, The Little Free Library Book by Margaret Aldrich, and I am totally smitten with this book. I haven't had an experience reading a book like this since the, when I read The Whole Earth Catalog in the early 1970s. That book was so filled with hope and ideas, and this book is filled with hope and ideas. There are hundreds of stories that Margaret Aldrich has collected together about little free libraries in the United States and around the world. Um, there's 350 color photographs in here. And you might know the story of the little free libraries. It started off with a man in Wisconsin, Todd Bowl, who set up the first little free library as a tribute to his mother, a school teacher, I believe. And he didn't have that great carpentry skills, but it was something he wanted to do and he built it from scrap or recycled materials. And then he contacted his friend Rick Brooks at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and together they decided to expand the project. Um, right now, there's more than a thousand little free libraries being set up per month. So what started off as a small little idea has become a global movement. And as you're reading this book, you can't help but think, if that small idea can become a global movement, what other small ideas could also become a global movement? So, um, the, some of the stories that really struck me in this book was uh, the story of the Los Angeles police uh, that have set up little free libraries in the police stations to make the police stations more inviting. That's a pretty interesting story. And I really love to read about um, inmates in Wisconsin prisons. They have something called the Good Mates Project where uh, inmates are building little free libraries and uh, donating them to different communities around uh, the nation. And then there was another really interesting project in Minneapolis where they're setting up one little free library on each block in a part of the, I think it's North Minneapolis, in a part of town where the um, students and adults might, might not have that much access to books. So that was really, really fascinating. Um, this book also has practical tips in it uh, about how to build your library. There's plans in the back. There's information about how to set up a counter so you can find out how many people have opened up your little free library. As I was reading this book, I got so fascinated. I went to YouTube and looked up little free library and I found a bunch of really interesting videos, including the little free library song where there's a family that composed a song about little free libraries. And of course they sing the song standing right beside their little free library. Um, another thing I like in this book is suggestions. The author has suggestions for how a community can create an anthology of writings of authors in the neighborhood and put that into their little free library and use that as a community building tool. So um, this book is one of the few books that I really loved that seems about the right length. It doesn't seem too long or too short. Every page pulls you along to the next page. I would really love to see this book twice as long uh, in the next edition, if the next edition comes out. But this first edition is just right. Um, it's published by Coffee House Press. Um, throughout the books, you see all different uh, configurations of these little free libraries. People are very inventive in how they build theirs. And um, I really love reading through the book, I got to tell you. Um, this is a book that every single library needs to own, every school library, every public library, because uh, it's a book that's filled with hope. Here's, here's a picture of a little free library where it's in the sh shape of a spaceship, and the only way to get to the books is to um, walk underneath the little free library and then put, stick your head inside the spaceship and then look around at the books that are available. So let's see which town that's in. Um, that is in... Uh, that's in New York, New York, I think. So that's pretty interesting. Um, the Little Free Library book. Uh, a real delightful, uh, delightful collection of tales.